Hello Super User! Today we're going to learn how to create harp glisses in Finale. Essentially, we're going to learn how to take something like this and turn it into a readable harp gliss for the players to see. Um, and to do this, we're going to use a couple things. One, we're going to learn how to use JW Lua, and second, we're going to use custom keyboard shortcuts. So if you don't know how to do either of those, uh, go see my videos which I'm linking in the description. So to start off, you're going to go download the harp gliss. Uh, JW Lua script. Uh, the link is in the description for that as well. And we're just going to copy and paste this entire thing. Now this is at the bottom of the page so you can just scroll down to the bottom of the page to find it. We're going to copy it and we're going to go over to Finale, go to JW Lua, find the actual plugin, uh, and then we're going to paste this into the development environment. Next we're going to save it, so we're going to go to Save As, uh, and then find whatever folder you normally uh, save things as, and we're going to call this harp gliss.lua. Save, go to manager, menu, new, and we're going to go back to whatever folder you just saved it in and find it, harp gliss.lua, open it up, and then you'll see it shows up in the items and group in the bottom. Uh, we are going to close this, and next, in order to actually get it in the menu bar, we're going to have to restart Finale. And so we're going to quit out of Finale. Open it back up. And just to show you, I'm going to create a new document with a harp in it. Pluck strings. Oh, harp. Next, next. And there we go. There we have a harp. Now, to actually use this as a keyboard shortcut, uh, we're going to first look to see what it's called. JW Lua, it is harp gliss from 7 template. Remember that exactly. So we're going to go back over to our main menu, open up system preferences, keyboard shortcuts, and if you don't have a Mac or don't like creating system preferences this way, uh, link to a video in the description on how to actually create your own other custom keyboard shortcuts. Um, we're going to add a new one and we're going to call this harp gliss from 7 tuplet has to be exactly the same as what you had before, so we're just going to double check because that's a longer and more complicated one. Harp Gliss from 7 Tuplet. Yep. And then the keyboard shortcut you want to do, that's my keyboard shortcut. And so there we go, we have the keyboard shortcut for that. Quit out of that. Next we're going to create the actual 7 Tuplet. So we're just going to start inputting the notes from the scale. Um, and to create a 7 tuplet, option 9 to create a custom tuplet, 7 in the time of 4. Okay? Um, and so next, we're going to take and just highlight the 7 tuplet, apply our keyboard shortcut, and we'll see it forms, mats it a lot more like a harp gliss. Next, we're going to add our ending note. It could be whatever note you want. Um, and then we're going to go get our glissando tool. And we're just going to run a glissando from the beginning to the end. Now you can also add accidentals. Um, to do that, we're going to want to start over um, and create a new sublet, seven tablet, and seven at the time of four. And then just add an accidentals where you, um, where you want the seven tablet to be, or where you want the accidentals to be. So we're going to go like that, and there we go, we have our 7 tuplet. Next we're going to run the script again, we're going to change a different starting note, let's do this on the other staff. Write the gliss from the beginning to the end, if you want to make the gliss go from the beginning note to the last note such that it looks nicer, you can do that as well. And so that is the basics for creating harp glisses in Finale. Uh, if you found that all helpful, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with the most current finale tips to become a super user yourself.